Today, we're drinking the 2011 Golden Pearl Viognier. It is from Vashon Island in Washington State. It's a small little winery owned by a husband and wife team that one day decided, you know what, we're into wine, we like it. Let's go out here, let's try this thing. And they did it. And here we are with some of their wine today to taste and share with you. Now, this is a wine you're gonna serve not super, super chilled. It is a white, I know, but this is not one to break out the ice bucket for or throw into the freezer for a while or even into the fridge for too long. I would do this one in the fridge for about a half hour or so, then take it out. Just a nice medium chill to it. It has a lot of really delicate notes to it that you really want to experience. And the more cold you make it, the less you get out of it, which is true with really any wine, but this one especially. So don't over chill this thing. Go for a nice medium chill. Now I would suggest going with a seafood pairing on this one, okay? But a spicy seafood pairing. You get it as spicy as you like, but have a hint of spice to it. This is one of those whites that could actually stand up to a steak. It does have that much body to it and that much depth that it really would be one of those white whites where you could break the rules and go with a meat dish on. But I would suggest a spicy seafood dish, like a crawfish etouffee, which I'll have the recipe link for here at newtastetoday.com, or my spicy crawfish pizza recipe. Both would go very, very well with this because you're going from the spiciness of the crawfish, you take a sip of this wine, and the first thing you get is just this cleansing, palate-filling sensation. It's smooth, it's round, it's voluptuous, it's bold, but not in the sense of like being spicy or anything like that. It's really, really refreshing. It would work really well with a spicy seafood dish. Now, as far as the notes go on it, you, know, you smell this thing and you get almost like little hints of honeysuckle. I get some petrol out of that. And the nose goes really very much along with the taste of the wine itself. It's not one where you smell one thing and you taste something different. It very much goes hand in hand. The lavender in there, and that really kind of all goes along with the uh, the body of it. You hear people talk about the body of wine and, oh, it has this texture, that texture. And there's a lot of wines where that's that's really hard to define and tell. This one though, this is like a definition wine. If you've never experienced what uh, a texture of wine is or what the body of it tastes like, this is a great one to learn from because it really is a definition of a smooth, round, and voluptuous wine. Very, very nice bottle of wine. Retails for about 22 bucks. You can find this in Washington State, mainly a lot of restaurants kind of on the Vashon Island area, Seattle area, Tacoma area. Uh, if you're out of that area and want to experience, they do have a wine club, and that may be the best way for you to try some of their wines. You can go to their website and check out the wine club for yourself, or maybe even order some of these wines for yourself. We'll have that link up at New Taste today as well.